All right, in this quick video, I'm gonna show how to record from Ableton Live into Logic. In this project, I've got some MIDI parts here that are um, really great later in the project because you can still edit all the notes in here and you can go in and change the, the velocity while you're playing around with the synthesizers and stuff. But uh, the disadvantage is that the synthesizer that I'm using is actually in Ableton Live. It's actually the operator. It's actually this little rack here and it's got a couple synths and a bunch of effects loaded on. So I'm actually playing Ableton as if it was an external instrument through Logic here. But uh, in order to make it so that we don't have to open Ableton every single time we open this Logic file, I'm going to actually record Ableton as if I was recording a guitar part into Logic. So I'll just quickly show you how I routed it in here. It's really quite easy actually. You just go track new in Logic and uh, you're creating an external MIDI track. You want to create one of those. And so that'll show up here. It's showing up as a grand piano now, but it does open up the library in the top right here. So this will show any, uh, any MIDI software or rewire software that uh, can talk to uh, Logic. So right here you can see I've got Ableton Live at the top and it's got two things here. One of them is actually just a drum beat I was working on earlier. Uh, and then the other is this rack. And these are both things that uh, can have MIDI sent to them in Ableton. And Logic is smart enough to see you've got these two things. So if I wanted to make one for the back beat, I could set that up here and then now anything that I draw in this uh, MIDI region here will play out in Ableton. But anyway, that was just a demo. I'm just going to hit Control Z to get rid of that and get rid of my library. The other thing I had to do was uh, set up a bus track here. I've got um, I've got an Ableton bus here and it's going in on the mix. So it just whatever comes out of the main channel on Ableton will be coming in on this bus and it's going out to bus 5. And then here I'm monitoring on bus 5 uh, and sending it out to bus 6, but that sort of doesn't matter. It could be sending out to your speakers. Um, but uh, this is where you actually hear it. You're able to make, uh, make the synth sound. It's actually coming out here. And here as well, but this isn't going directly out to the speakers. This one is sending it out to the speakers, this is channel 14 here. So whatever gets mixed in and across all these channels comes out this mix, this master channel in Ableton, and then that comes in on this channel 14, like I was showing earlier. So all we have to do is hit record on it as if we were recording an audio track. This is just a regular audio track, by the way. Just go file new audio track. And it's got the, the bus with the Ableton uh, audio set up to input. So basically to record this, I'm just gonna return us back to the beginning and just hit record. It's easy as that. And uh, Logic will go ahead and sync up with Ableton. It'll play these MIDI parts out and record that into audio on the timeline here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so that's it. Just gonna hit the space bar and stop it. A couple other things I'm gonna do right off the bat. Since I'm so far ahead in this project and I've organized it all into colors, I'm gonna go ahead and color this file the same as I have all the other files. All the synth parts are in yellow, the vocals in blue, this bass in orange, and then the drums in red, just so it's easy at a glance to really see where everything is. 